Hi there, here is Klaas Nienhuis and in this video I want to show you how to use the updated Sketchfab exporter to bake a light map and to edit your color textures separately. So I've got this sushi set here. I downloaded it from Sketchfab and um, it has got a really nice texture. Let me show you. I've applied that texture to uh, different materials. So the sauce bottle has a material, the uh, seaweed has a material, the rice has a different material. I've added this same texture to different materials, so I can edit those uh, materials later on separately. Now I'm going to show you how to bake a pure light map instead of baking the lighting together with the color texture. I don't want that, I just want to bake a light map. <clears throat> and I have to uh, do that by getting rid of the color texture. And uh, well, in my case, uh, that's easy. I just delete the color texture. And without the color texture, my materials are all gray. I'm uh, unchecking publish with single material. I've got manual lighting set up and I'm going to uh, bake this and I'll see you on the other side of the rendering. All right, well, the model has been baked and uploaded to Sketchfab. I'll show you here. Uh, this is the model. I've already done a little bit of light tweaking, uh, but uh, in essence, this is the model as it has been uploaded. I also downloaded the model again, and um, so we can take a look at the baked texture map. So this is the baked texture map. You can see that the UV arrangement is, uh, is different than the original color map. Now this makes sense, this uses the auto unwrap. So let's have a look at the 3D settings. Right, so let's uh, select uh, this one here, the, the base one, uh, the, the, the plate. I've set it up um, so that it uses the baked uh, texture as an ambient occlusion and cavity map. Somehow using them both just looks you know, nicer, more powerful. And uh, now I'm going to uh, upload my original uh, color texture again. It wasn't included in the upload, but now I'm going to put it in here. And, uh, well, this doesn't look good. I need to use um, the other UV channel. This model has been uploaded with two UV channels. UV0 is the one for the baked lighting. And UV1 is the original light map, uh, the original uh, UV map. So I can now do this for every material in the scene and uh, show you how to uh, bring back your own um, color map. And you can see I'm using two different maps now. Um, I've got the baked light map, it's on UV um, uh, channel zero, and I've got the original uh, color texture, it's on UV one. I'm going to do this for all the other materials. All the materials have been edited and I can now uh, tweak the material settings for each uh, a different material. I can make the bottle a little bit more metallic. I can add a little bit more glossiness to the salmon. And this looks really nice. So let's save these settings. But this approach by separating the light map and the color map uh, allows me to edit the color map later on without having to rebake the entire lighting. Let me show you. Here's my color map and uh, I'm going to edit a few areas and it's really easy because I can do this in the in the original color map. I don't have to you know, tweak around in an 
automatically unwrapped texture. So I want to add some detail to the wound plate. Oh, there we go. And this salmon, I uh, think it should be a different kind of fish, uh, white fish. And this red sauce, everybody knows red sauce is for wimps. You need a green sauce, it's much hotter and better. I'm going to save this image. And here it is. And I'm going to upload it to Sketchfab. So let's get rid of the editor here. And uh, well, I want to change this one. So I'm going to upload it here. And you can see my color map has changed, but the, uh, the light map is still there because it's independent. And I can now change the, the fish by just picking the, the other uh, model here, uh, other texture, and let's decrease the, the glossiness and maybe make it a little bit darker. There we go. And then the red sauce, it needs to be green, obviously. So this is a, a great way to separate color textures from baked textures and do it with the SketchUp exporter for 3ds Max. Well, have fun exporting. It.